You're watching clips, the best moments from our live streams every Monday and Friday. Don't miss out. Watch it. Uh, District Attorney Gascon here is looking at new evidence into the Menendez case. Can you believe that? 35 years later, there's new evidence. Creator of the TV show, Ryan Murphy, predicts Men Menendez brothers will be out of prison by Christmas. Ryan Murphy isn't planning a season two of Netflix's Monsters, but that doesn't mean he's completely done with the story. With news today in court in with, that a court hearing is set for the Menendez sisses. District Attorney Gascon considers new evidence as they were allegedly molested by their father. Murphy may consider extending the season. I think I would be interested in doing it if the two actors would agree to it as maybe a one or two episodic that continues the story 35 years later. Can you imagine that? Wow, you talk about a, a, a sequel. Murphy told me Thursday morning. That's wild. Chavez and, and, and Koch, who are great as the brothers in this movie, in this TV show. I, we just finished it last really night. Really good, yeah. Just finished it last night. Javier Bardem as the dad. Oh, my God. Very, very dark. Uh, star as Lyle and Eric, respectively, in the show, which chronicles the brother's conviction and sentencing to life in prison without the possibility of parole in the first degree. Murder of their parents, Jose and Kitty Menendez, in 1989. A new hearing could eventually lead to a retrial or resentencing of Eric and Lyle, but, but, but Gascon said there has been no decision made yet. That's wild. Uh, he's waiting to see the ratings. <laughs> Shortly after, well, Gascon is up for re-election too. And uh, there's a certain, there, 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 there is a certain uh, connection here a, a gascon latino slant connection Let me, we'll get to that in a minute gascon announced he was looking at the new evidence kim kardashian published an essay demanding eric allow be released from prison kardashian and koch visited the siblings in prison in san diego this past september mm. murphy co-created monsters what do you think about that that whole kardashian yeah that's, that, that i guess that's another thing that people kind of forget because uh Kim's uh, Kim, the Kardashians, their father was a very famous lawyer who was in uh, in the dream team that uh, helped get OJ out. Right. Um, he's a he's a very mm. well renowned uh, attorney. Um, you know, they, they went nuts after he passed away. But, you know, but right. It used to be cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There is some there is a very, very small. Um, Light, light, kind of like a lapping of storylines where apparently OJ uh, character you never see him but you just see him get locked up he sits right next to Menendez who's been in prison for three years and they have a conversation that was that was why if that's true that 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 was wild but it was definitely good television <laughs> Murphy co-created uh monsters uh, first show Kardashian in the show about a month before it premiered on Netflix she knew a lot about the case and she grew up with it Murphy said, but she didn't know a lot about the sexual abuse and immediately became very interested in helping them. So many people now are interested in the case, and it speaks to me about the power of television and what it can do. It can shine a light on something and it can illuminate dark corners. When I first spoke to Murphy about Monsters last week, he says he wasn't looking to become an advocate for the brothers. I believe in justice, but I don't believe in being part of that machine. It's not my job. My job as an artist is to tell the perspective of a particular story. I feel I've done that, but I wish them well. Today, he became an unexpected advocate due to the show's popularity and ah, the rating. <laughs> uh, an influence may have had on Gascon's decision. We gave them their moment in the court of public opinion. Basically, we give them, we did give them a platform, Murphy said. I think they can be out of prison by Christmas. I really believe that. What? Can they tell you what the new evidence is supposed to be? Uh, or do they hint at no, it at the show? No, no. Uh, there is, there's two things in the show, guys. There's two things, okay? And we'll get to your comments in a minute. Let's start some, some, some Menendez comments. One is that, yes, there was some extreme sexual abuse relationships with the father and the two brothers. 
They did not hold back on that. And two, they mention it and they bring it up that Menendez, the father, uh, had an extramarital affair, but also to uh, hired male escorts. And the connecting thing is here that the father had signed Menudo at the time to the biggest RCA deal. Right. And recently, an ex member of Menudo made allegations that he was abused by Menendez. So I don't know if if, so if that if's connected to this, that would be wild. That would be wild because and I remember hearing about the Menudo thing last year because they came out with a documentary how they were about their whole upbringing, about their, you know, it was, you know, coming up, but also too how they were abused. Period by you know managers and stuff like that but i didn't finish seeing the doc after the doc came out there i believe recently there was this allegation so you take that now how do you how do you have evidence of that that's the tough part you're going to need a corroborating uh witness right like a like a relative or a member uh yeah. or some some sort of tapes or something that that back up this claim now how would that affect this case it could affect it to where they get manslaughter right so that would mean time served because usually manslaughter is you know what 30 years yeah. and even, yeah, and, well, even not. and even knocked down because of good time well the big thing with la is because the pre the prison overpopulation all stuff that's you're definitely getting time served and they're married now they have children their first trial was a mistrial it was a deadlock right the the jury had a deadlock and they had a great great lawyer um the second trial was a disaster for them because more evidence came out against them then one brother couldn't even take the take the stand because he, he got caught. Uh, he thought he was writing his his memoirs. Lo and behold, the the person that that was recording his memoirs goes and does his own book, making him look bad. So the lawyer's like, "I can't even use you, and you were my star witness because he was great in the first trial." So they were screwed. The br the brother that was able to talk take the stand was horrible like he was just nervous he was just you know it, it, it didn't look it what it was so bad that they were found guilty and they didn't get the death penalty they got life and uh life and you know life and uh, i forgot which brother it is but the brother has a daughter like an, a grown daughter now who runs his instagram runs his campaign like is the one really <laughs> runs his instagram come on <laughs> i'm just saying man i mean i like i've been looking this up because me and romy watched the, we watched the entire television show. as far as television is concerned this is i had a great time